Want to spend less time building articulate storyline courses you'll be proud of? One way to do that is to find shortcuts to the things you do most often in storyline. Doing so will free you up to dive deeper into developing beautiful slide layouts and engaging interactions. Hi, this is William Everhart with eLearning Uncovered, and I'm here to share with you my top five time-saving tips in articulate storyline. Let's kick things off with my number five tip. And that is Articulate's Content Library 360. This is part of the Articulate 360 subscription, and it saves me a lot of time searching for stock content. Instead of jumping from various stock photography websites looking for the perfect image, I just go to the insert ribbon. Here, I can use the content library to search for images, illustrations, icons, or even videos. Best of all, it's free to use any of these items in my courses. No royalties, no credits, no keeping up with another subscription. Just pick the items I want, and they're instantly dropped into my Storyline course. No problem. My number four time-saving tip is round-trip editing with Photoshop. Well, now, actually, you can use any image editor. I just prefer Photoshop. So what is round-trip editing? It's the ability to edit content using a secondary application and have those changes immediately reflected in your primary application. Now, normally, you would export an image from Storyline or use the media library to locate it on your computer. Then, you would open the image in your editing application, like Photoshop, make a change, and save the file. Then, you would return to Storyline and replace the image in your course. Well, with round-trip editing, you can forget all of that hassle. Instead, right mouse click on the image in Storyline. Choose Show in Media Library. In the Media Library, in the lower right-hand corner here, you will select the Edit button. When you do, you'll see a list of the various image editing applications you have on your computer. Now, if you don't see your favorite one here, there's also an option to choose another app. Well, I'm going to select Photoshop 2020. My image opens instantly here inside of Photoshop. Now I'm free to make a change. Now all I have to do is save and close the file. When you return to Storyline, your updated image is already there waiting on you. Isn't that much easier? My number three time-saving tip is to customize the quick access bar. Now, this is an often overlooked little time saver. I fill my quick access bar with the most commonly used items to save me from juggling between the ribbons. Just right mouse click on most any ribbon item and you'll see an option to add it to the quick access bar. Now, that item is available here in the Quick Access Bar. So in my case, I added the New Slide option, but it also added it as a menu. So just like it functions in the ribbon, I can choose to import a new basic layout here. Isn't that cool? Now, here's a bonus tip for you. Move the Quick Access Bar below the ribbon. Just go to the end of the Quick Access Bar, click this little menu, and choose Show Below Ribbon. This makes it even quicker to access these items, and for me, it makes it easier to see them. My number two time-saving tip is a little bit technical, but it is still awesome. It's lorem ipsum. Now, even if you don't recognize the term, you have definitely seen lorem ipsum in action. When you're developing a project, you may not always have the final text. You know that there are going to be words on the screen, you just don't know which words yet. Well, lorem ipsum is the random, nonsensical words that designers and developers use as a placeholder while they develop their content. It frees you up to design around the words and keep a project moving forward. Now, the problem is, where do you get lorem ipsum? Well, you could find any number of lorem ipsum generators on the web. But here's the time saver. There's one built right into Storyline. Now, if you're looking for a button or a menu that says Lorem Ibsen, well, you're out of luck. 
this is where the technical bit comes in. You can place a new text box on your slide. So I have a text box right here, and I'm just going to take this text out of it. And I'm just going to type a simple code. I'm going to type the equal sign and the word lorem. To finish it off, I'm going to type a left and right parenthesis. Finally, I'll hit the return or enter key on my keyboard, and magically, random words appear on the screen. If your text is formatted to be really small, it may not completely fill the text container. So what do you do? Well, you could simply type that little bit of code again, or just copy and paste your lorem ipsum text. With your lorem ipsum in place, you are free to continue with the layout portion of your course development. Now, when the actual copy is finally delivered to you, well, just copy and paste it over the lorem ipsum text. Well, we have finally made it. My number one time-saving tip, and that is cloning. Everyone watching this has copied and pasted objects in their Storyline projects. You select an object or even multiple objects. You use shortcut keys to copy them and then another shortcut key to paste them onto your slide. Then you have to pick them up and move them over, resize them, do whatever it is you're gonna to do to them. Well, what if I told you that I could beat that twice? Let me get rid of this image. First, I can beat that by using only one keyboard shortcut to both copy and paste objects. I'll select an object, or you could select multiple objects. Then I'll use Articulate's keyboard shortcut of Control D to duplicate my object. Now I can move and transform this object to suit my needs. Well, even this is not enough of a time saver for me. So are you ready to see how I can beat Articulate's own shortcut? I start just like the previous shortcuts by selecting the object or objects I want to clone. Next, I hold down the control key with my left hand while I drag the selected items to the place that I want them. I release the mouse button, then release the control key. Done. Isn't that awesome? Oh, but it gets even more awesome. This little time saver, it works in most of your other desktop applications too. Give it a try in PowerPoint or Word. If you're an Adobe fan like me, use the Alt key in place of the Control key, and it'll work in those applications too. Do you work on a Mac? Well, instead of the Control key, it's going to be the Command key as you drag. And then, of course, if you're in an Adobe application, it's going to be the Option key instead of the Alt key. Well, there you have it, folks. My top five time-saving tips for working in Articulate Storyline. I hope that you can put these to use and win back some of your day. This is William Everhart with eLearning Uncovered saying, stay healthy, stay happy, but most of all, folks, stay curious.